I didn't want to hug my dog for three hours after watching this movie. You did. Molly is back, and she's here for a reason. We're going to talk about A Lady in the Tramp. Disney Plus has officially launched in the United States, and with it comes one of its most anticipated launch titles, the live-action adaptation of Lady and the Tramp, one of Disney's most classic animated films and arguably their most romantic film, at least in my eyes. Don't argue with me about that. But look, this live-action version of Lady and the Tramp is actually great. This movie was perfect. It was everything it needed to be, and this is exactly what The Lion King was missing. The live-action version of Lady and the Tramp is a movie that knows exactly what it is. First of all, it looks great. The aesthetic and production design of this movie is just so beautiful. It's so warm and cozy and comforting. It just, it's a feel-good movie. It's one of those movies where you sit down, you watch it, and you just feel good watching it. There's no other way to explain it. It's beautiful. The dogs obviously look great because the main cast of dogs were a group of rescue dogs. And, well, once you get over how sad that is, you enjoy, you know, the fact that these dogs are in the movie and what an opportunity it is for them. Because this movie is just so fun and just heartwarming. And everything about it feels welcoming. The voice cast is absolutely phenomenal. Tessa Thompson as Lady was pitch perfect. Wouldn't change a thing about her performance. Justin Thoreau as Tramp. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just, I love it. Sam Elliott as Trusty was a stroke of genius, even though he is such a minor character in the film. It just gives the film such a lived-in quality. It's so, so good. Now, Lady and the Tramp obviously is a reimagining of the classic animated film, so it's bound to hit many, many familiar story beats from the animated classic and it does do that i'm not going to deny that however it does also add some elements that the animated version was missing and one of those was fleshing out the character of tramp considerably i feel like in this version of lady and the tramp the tramp was a much more interesting character they actually explored why he's on his own why he has the worldview that he does for a dog. And this movie actually explores themes of loyalty and love in a way that the original Lady and the Tramp didn't. And because it's portrayed through the eyes of dogs, because they are the main characters, it just resonates so much more. And it comes off a lot more emotional than I think it normally would. And another great thing about Lady and the Tramp is that it also leans into the absurdity of the film. Yes, this movie has talking dogs in it, and they inhabit the same world as real living human beings. But this movie knows that. And so you can see the expressions on the dogs' faces when they're happy, they look happy. When they're upset, they look upset. When they're angry, they look angry. And this is the thing that was missing from The Lion King. Granted, I know that The Lady and the Tramp is not trying to portray this hyper-realistic National Geographic aesthetic, but the dogs obviously look very photorealistic because they are real dogs. However, they animated their mouth movements in a way that it looked believable. I believed that the voice actor's dialogue matched the dog's emotions, unlike The Lion King. The uncanny valley, that is what was missing in The Lion King, and it is here in Lady and the Tramp. And that is what makes this movie so enjoyable. It knows what it is, it leans into it. There is a dog catcher in this movie that is absolutely ridiculous. He is so over the top, but that's the point. There's a scene where they perform the tramp song where the dog's singing it 
she does this thing at the end that is so utterly ridiculous and funny that you can't help but laugh, but you know that's the reaction the movie wanted. This movie does everything it sets out to do and more. The cast is fantastic, the movie looks great, I really like how contained and small this movie felt in comparison to something like The Lion King or even the live action Jungle Book. The scope was very small and it felt very intimate. And I really appreciated that because I think, you know, that was a nice change of pace for these live action Disney films. You know, so many of these reimaginings have gone for this huge blockbuster scope, whereas this movie decided to, like I said, become more intimate and smaller. And I think that really worked in the movie's favor. There is a clear sense of geography. Everything looks great, as I said. The film does a really good job of putting you in the setting and the environment that this movie takes place in. And like I said, it is so welcoming, it's so beautiful, everything is so tiny, but in a good way. The voice acting is phenomenal, even the human characters, particularly Kiersey Clemens, is great in the film. And it's just really hard not to enjoy this movie. If you're a fan of the original Lady and the Tramp, I guarantee you, you will like this movie. I would rank this as one of the higher live action Disney remakes because it is just so enjoyable and comforting it's one of those movies where you want to stay in on the weekend you turn on disney plus watch lady and the tramp grab a blanket maybe get some almonds i don't know you know what it sounds like a good weekend to me but look it's a good movie i highly recommend it i think it's phenomenal for what it is and it really did do some things for me that the original lady and the tramp did it and I love the animated version, but this movie did bring some new stuff to the table in addition to being the familiar story that we all know and love. You know, it had the spaghetti scene, so, you know, there we go. Anyways, I, I highly recommend Lady and the Tramp to everybody, especially if you're a fan of the original animated version. This movie is wonderful, especially if you love dogs. This movie will go above and beyond for you. I guarantee it. I have a dog, obviously, and I just wanted to hold her the entire time I was watching it and for a while after the movie was over. If you love dogs, you're gonna love this movie. If you like Disney, you're gonna like this movie. If you liked the animated Lady and the Tramp, you were gonna love this movie. I highly recommend it. That being said, I know it isn't for everyone, so if you wanna tell me how wrong I am in the comments, feel free to do so, and I will see you next time for the review of Frozen 2. I can't believe it, guys. It's finally here. I'm so excited, and thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.